So, back live again at the um, Hot Rod and Custom Auto Expo. So this is the third hall. And this one's Nostalgia Lane. So I'm starting to run out of battery as well, so I'm going to get through here as quick as I can and hope we don't miss anything. For those that haven't been here, this is um, at the racetrack and it's got all of the, the bedding areas and all that sort of stuff. Oh, they got them jammed in here. Well, someone says now we're talking. Oh, that's got me in. Look at that. Move my hand out of the way. Corona country. Thanks for the stars, yeah. um, Dale. Well, you don't do a 3D. <laughs> Where's this? We're up at um, Rose Hill Racecourse in Sydney. For the hot rod. The hot rod show. How are we going, guys? Having a good day? Ladies and gentlemen, just a, uh, a special announcement. We know I asked you all to gather here, and uh, I'm going to stand up here and just share with you how many people have enjoyed the show this weekend. Yeah. Yeah? All right. Have we got more cars in here than we've ever had before? Yeah, more cars, good cars. Okay. You know how these things run sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta take that little extra time to go through the judging details. So, we're gonna have a slight delay. We're gonna be back here in about half an hour. And I'll keep you posted in the meantime. Right, more cars to see, more conversations to be had, more opportunities, maybe you grab a bit of lunch or a drink, you don't have to go, but we are gonna have a delay for about half an hour. Okay, we'll be back soon. Get lost in here for a week.
engraving. And there you go, if you talk about detail, that's all engraved. Back in 1990, I was going to build one of these, a single spinner. Ended up doing the fair lane instead. Head back out here. Oh, there's another one and another one. Just about walk past it. Man, that is so low. Can't do that with the camera. That that thing comes up to about my oh, just under the boob line. It's so low. This is magnificent. This is. Check this out. So the stripes run up there, around there, and inside onto the dash. So my phone's telling me I've got 20% battery left, so I better move along. Little Hemi stuck in there.
get far enough away to fit that big sucker in there. God, that's a huge car. Okay, so that's the third haul done, so I'll call that a, a done deal before the battery goes flat. Okay, I'm back. So as per normal with all these shows, if I just wander around, I get caught talking to people and carried away, so a bit later back than I thought I was going to be. So we're at the Hot Rod Show in Sydney. And this is the second haul, so I've put another one up previously, so if you're watching as a newbie, then this really is just trying to um, cover all the cars that are here. Check out the flake in that. So lots of old school. It is a hot rod show, you've got to remember that. And there's another hall down further. There's probably some more streetcar type stuff. It's looking pretty good in blue. How you doing, Mr. Rude? I guess you're at work probably still now that you work for yourself and you've got all those bills to pay. So I'm going to breeze through this hall and then once I get that done, I'll start another one and we'll do the other hall, which is down the bottom. Take me a little while to walk down there. Oh, look at that. It's all late model. Someone's got some time invested in that. Hot rod, hot rod. Bit of a Kiwi there. One for you, Joel, if you're watching. I'm struggling to stay on that because right next door to it is that. Check that out. Bit of bling there. You, mate. This one yours? 
So here's the owner over here. Say hello. Nice job, mate. You like a bit of bling then? Mate, that's awesome. They just keep coming. There's lots here. Yeah, he's like a bit of fat fender. And I'm not a big fan of all of these flat greys, but I must admit they don't look too bad. Careful, you miss things. You turn around and you've missed a, a whole row. There you are, Rude. Tea bucket for you. Yeah, that's good. Left hand drive. Yeah, that yellow thing's pretty um, pretty in your face, Root. It's a pretty nice looking bit of thing in there too. Oh, someone's changed the lights. The left door is really nice. Hey Kim, how are you buddy? See you hard at it, punching out the work. See a bit of depth in that. Thanks, mate. I'm 
just live on air, so whatever you're saying, you be careful. They're not getting any younger, eh? They're enjoying the video. Good, thank you. That helps. Oh, Damo, how are you going, mate? Nineteen fifty PSA B thirty three. Here's another new build, this one here. Stephen and Kathy Rich's new car. So Steve had a red 32, 33 that was a Motor X winner a few years back. So this is his driver, he was telling me earlier. So driver, but the engine makes like 600. But nowhere near the level of detailing that had in his full full on show cars and that shows out but meticulous in his actual um, his build quality and the way he does things Steve's background he's a tool maker so that sort of helps a bit to get that really good detail happening obviously works with mothers and PPG Speaking of which, the mother's boys are behind us. I'm live, you want to say hello and tell them about the new products? So, this is some of the stuff I've been going on about on the page. So this is James from, from Others. So tell me about the new, um, the yellow boxes, mate. What's happening there? So, uh, the hybrid and combined steps uh, in terms of the uh, preparation and then application. So that'll be good for me, you, will it? It'll be great for you, you, yeah. Something like a ceramic detail where traditional detailers that a lot of people are familiar with. So the there. moment I'm using this one. Yep. So so the spray wax is... <laughs> spray wax contains a ceramic uh, coating in it as well as a normal wax. Yep. Uh, the detailer is a spray on wipe off kind of thing. Uh, spray spread around, let dry, wipe off. So this one's sort of ideal, this one here is ideal like if you're at summer nights. Yeah. And, uh, and you want to give it a quick something yeah, before you go out that day? In the, in the morning kind of thing. Yeah. Like first of the morning, yeah. Cool. So Matthew's range? Yeah, we're getting... Uh, he says he can't hear him. Oh, that's right. All right, so we'll have to talk about It's a bit loud here. Um, all right, mate. Yeah. If you can't hear, it's no good telling you all about then. That's it. 
All right, I'll keep going. I need to spend money on a microphone now. That's it. So I've got a feel on the trim in this one is done by um, Simon that'll be doing the trim on Boss XC. Now and check the sign, but I'm pretty sure I read. Yep. So Simon, so he'll be doing the trim in the in the Boss. So I've been fortunate enough to see this car before. A bit of dodging all the people here at the moment, but um, yeah, this was at Summonats, the last Summonats we had, and um, very good um, detail, a lot of, lot of effort. I know how hard it is to get all that painted front end to look like that. <laughs> so I just got reminded that I didn't see do the undercarriage on the back of the Cortina. Right, oh, no, so I'm back now. So tell us a bit about it. See, uh, yep. Actually, I need to come a bit closer. I'll come over here so because they won't hear it. It's a 70 frame model TC Cortina. Yep. <coughs> it's um, it's running a 364 Windsor dark motor. Makes 570 horsepower. It's got a tricked up C4. 4,800 stall converter. 35 gears. 9 inch. 31 spine axle. So, it's right, so last time I finished saying it was brand new, it looks a lot sharper now. You've obviously had plenty, <laughs> plenty more time to, to get involved. Yeah, we can give it another polish and just polish everything. Yeah, it's very sleek. Thank you. Glad you like it. It's 
my first it's car. It's a Ford and it's red, mate. You gotta like it. I've had it for 39 years. Have you? Good stuff. First car. Good job. Good on you, mate. Thank you. No worries. Look what I just spotted. Can't believe there's one of them here. They are the smallest car. So those that have been following me for a long time, I did one of these for a guy up in um, Emerald. A full resto. Only about three metres long. Oh, got the picnic basket on the back and all. few more people in now, so it's getting a bit hard to um, watch where I'm going and keep my focus on the cars and not cut half of it off. There we go. This car here was on, um, on my Facebook feed last night. Check out the size of the scoop on the bonnet. Basically the whole bonnet. It's all finished under there. And that's a whole lot of work to the anyone that does a bit of metal work. Rear spoilers built in as well. Check that out. Okay, so as you can see, we've just about run out of haul. Last one here, another nice. 56 Chevy. And I only knew that because I read the number plate. How you doing, buddy? Good. Okay, so that's the haul, that haul done. That's two. And I'll go out the back and find the other haul now and do that one. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. That's what happens when you're an old dude and you don't know what you're doing. So lots of people here, lots of cars. So I'm gonna try and just get through here. Whoops. So there's three halls here, so I'm going to try and do this one haul at a time because it's just way too much to do in one go. And I'll just try and breeze past fairly quickly. Hey, how you going, buddy? Yeah, there's, there's bacon egg rolls and coffees and stuff there. Yeah, that's how you get upstairs. 
So there's a really good range of cars here. There's um, street machines, hot rods, motorbikes. One for you, Darren. Barrow stuck in there. Hey, Dave Weeks. Mad. How you doing, Josh? No shortage of people here, that's for sure. How you going, buddy? Check out this cool stuff here. One thing about Andy, he always has a good range of cars. So we're at Rose Hill, up in Sydney. bling there. You still there or what? I know, he's the owner. I'm live mate, so you're on how you been doing, buddy? Good, mate. Good. Just trying to go, give the world a look at what's going on. Oh, uh, just enjoying this side of the counter for a change. Yeah, the gold one here last time I was here. Yeah, yeah. 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 This beats the gold one, body-wise. Better? Oh. Yeah. It's never been repaired. It's had a bit of pain. Really? It's never been repaired. Amazing. So, buddy, uh, it's a genuine 88,000 more. Every option on the house, it's factory. Every option? Or dealer fitted option. Or dealer fitted, yeah. yeah. I've spoken to the dealer principal yeah. and the mechanics. So what's that, a Mor Maury's, is it? Is that a Maury's injection? Some yeah, sort? I think so, yeah. yeah. But that's like a model for trying to keep it cool. Yeah. But all the GT grill, air conditioning, everything else. All factory. All factory. Nice. Got to keep moving. Yeah. Pretty hard to not love a GT in Vermilion Fire. Black trim. There you go. So if you like your, your pickups in the weeds, check that out. Used to have one of these a long time ago. At F250, we used to tow the um, 
trailer with. And then nice Chevy Novat over here. It's come out of Maskell, it's only a fresh build out of there. Pretty much stocker by the look of it. Definitely. I can always talk to that fellow. Of a three and a half thousand horsepower Pro Slammer Monaro. Apparently sponsored by AC Delco. We're about 10 minutes away from that, and I think that uh, we're going to hear some noise. Now, if you want to know how to get to the other city a little closer, we want to be able to encourage you to come downstairs. So just over here now, I don't know if you can hear me over all this noise, but there's um, sharp. So this car's been coming for a long, long time. When we were doing um, tailspin, this car was in the build, and we thought we would actually see this at the shows when we were there but so that's got to make it probably seven or eight years in the build so that's my style of undercarriage really nowadays stone guard black grey and silver So, if you've been watching this build, it's all billet. into this sort of build. No concept in my mind of how long it would actually take but Sitting right next door to that is another one out of the same shop in downtown Customs.
So this car's already won some awards on the internet from um, for the trim. That was good, but it should have made this place before we went. So a car like this would be, um, okay, Dale, yeah, another Monaro, mate, just another Monaro. But a car like this would be an absolute standout at SEMA. Incredible finish. Green is nice, Dale. I was um, just thinking that myself when I ever get to do this panel, man. I'll be able to make that statement. And then out of the same stable, this car's been finished quite a few years now, but. It's like the downtown custom show, isn't it? I wonder if there's any Fords here. There's John, the show's up at um, Rose Hill, Sydney. And that boat was actually it's a Sydney Hot Rod the Show. They've taken it back, restored it back to the, the way it was in the 70s. And in 1972, that boat started 10 races. It won 10 races. So 10 out of 10, and then it was banned from racing again. Absolutely incredible. Parallel boats there as well with big engines. All we can is the pro slam start and get the new motor Right, Righto, so it's going to be a bit of ruckus by the sound of it. They're just saying they're going to have. Um, one of the drag cars, one of the blown boats start up outside in a minute. So when you hear that, find the forward tower. Yeah, I'm working on it. This must be Holden Corner, I think. So this is another one that downtown um, finished up. That car was built originally and then went to downtown and had a, a makeover. Oh, here we go. Try not to move that camera too fast. Trumpets. Well, Scott, it sounds like it's a family day, mate, so you've got to do that. Head off to the zoo and enjoy it. I don't think I've seen this car before. It's a very nice build. Six cylinder.
like I said, something for everyone here. Volte. Alright, let's go, Pete. If you like a bit of craziness. Just in case you break down, we've got a plan B at the back. with some flames on it. Very tasteful. what you call a very long roof. Okay, so like I said, there's three halls here, so I'm just about at the end of this one, so I'll turn off in a minute, and um, probably in half an hour or so, I'll get to the next hall. Not that it takes that long, but I'll need to give my arm a break. Displays. 
A three-way flyer gearbox, skin knuckles front beam. It's all double dutch to me. Combi well. Freshman as well. I'm just live here. I just. Here you are. Good to see you. Great show, isn't it? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Two years ago, I reckon there was only about five cars that were here then. It's like all new. And it's. I mean, the fact we've had a break yeah, obviously great. helps. Course, yeah. yeah. Another new one out of Maskell's. Super nice colour. Yeah, someone's saying they're locked down in Victoria. That's a bit of a grind, isn't it? Yeah, unusual, those wheels. Clean, nice looking hot rod. So there's quite a lot of trade stands here as well. Oh, try and dodge all the people. So these guys uh, bought a little bit of glass off these blokes up in Queensland. So a couple of cars to go, and then I'm going to shut down and um, have a little break and then go to the other hall. I don't know whether that's matte silver or whether that's bare metal. Thinking it's metal, yeah it is metal. Very often someone is game enough to actually run a car at a show. I've only seen it two or three times where it's been pulled off really well where they've actually done it in bare metal and brought it to the show. Okay, so a couple left to do here and we're out the door. Man, there's some bling in there. 